Okay, today I thought I would talk about food and my journey that I've been taking specifically on the last 49 days. So today happens to be, let's see, Thursday, March 10th, 2022. And I just thought I'd come on just to share just a little bit about what I do with my eating. And now, of course, I'm on one journey, but further down the road, I could shift and go to a different journey. Uh, so right now, I thought I would keep you up to date on what I'm doing right now. Obviously, on day 49, is my day to day. So I've completed seven weeks. And during the seven weeks, I lost 23.7 pounds, which is an average every week of 3.35 pounds. And I thought I would share that um, my the journey that I'm on at this time, and of course, you know, I, those following me, you know, I started at 250.3 pounds. So with that much weight, I had 115 to go. Um, it, I have found at least at this phase in my journey, intermittent fasting is the best choice for me right now. And I say that because it's simple. I'm learning physical exercise for the first time in eight years of knee injuries. So I didn't want to add that with a very complicated diet recording uh, measuring, weighing. I just, I really felt like I could fail too much if I was trying to put all those boats in the water at the same time. So instead, I chose a simpler format, which is intermittent fasting. And so what I do with that is 18 hours. I have an app on my phone um, that I specifically track with. Uh, the app, app is called Zero, And so I just track uh, when I start to uh, eat, I open it up, but I, I chose this program. You can set it to any program in that app. I set 18 hours of fasting, six hours of eating. And that the six hours that I eat could vary. If someone wants to go out for breakfast, then my six hours opened up earlier, right? Um, and so what I do during the 18 hours, which is really simple thought process for process for me. I just only drink water. I do a clean fast during those 18 hours. And by that, I mean, in the refrigerator, I put four of these every morning into one refrigerator where I know this is a quart. So I know when I drink four of these during the course of the day, I did get my gallon of water in. Um, and if I want something coloring outside the lines, when my 18 hour fasting, I do like a sparkling water, but it's pure. It's got no flavors to it. So I don't add any flavoring to anything. It is straight water those 18 hours. And then when I open up and I decide it's time to eat, or my body says now is good, I look, I click my app and say, I'm going to eat now and it's tracking so I'll know that I never go beyond the six hours and to be very honest with you I'm typically more about three to four hours I've already eaten what I want so when I open it up sometimes I actually want a real meal at that time and then maybe before I close it I'll have a smaller something like a salad or something and sometimes it's just the opposite I'm not real hungry but I want a little something um, so I'll eat a little something at the beginning of my opening of my six hours, but before I close it, I'll have a regular meal. The reason this works for me is because I still have a mother that I care for that lives with us, a 93-year-old, so I'm a caregiver for her. My husband and I have been married over 46 years, so I do things that he wants to, and I actually feed a lot of people. I feel a ministry to feeding people. Um, who are going through all kinds of stuff. So I don't want my meal part to be complicated. I do basically stick to meats and vegetables for myself. Um, I am avoiding gluten. I am avoiding uh, sugar, probably dairy a little bit too. But when I say avoiding, that just means basically they're not my main journey. Um, although Although I will say on one of my 49 days, my husband and I had a date out a special for a special occasion. I knew right up front I was going to order a steak and a salad. And then I did have a small chocolate dessert. By the way, this is fake. 
sponge. But I like fake fake food around our house. I've always thought it was very humorous. So anywho, so I have actually in the 49 days, I did have one incredible dessert, chocolate mousse something or other, and it was awesome. But I planned that I would do that. I didn't feel guilty about it, and obviously it didn't affect my weight. So anyhow, intermittent fasting right now at this season of my weight loss is working perfectly for me. I didn't have to adjust, measure, weigh, nothing. I asked myself what sounds good today, and I actually asked my body, and then I just eat that. Um, sometimes I have to run and get it, but often we have two refrigerators and a big freezer, so often I have something in the house that I can go ahead um, on. Sometimes I make stuff ahead of time. I love, my favorite thing is the DDPY chicken salad. I can make that and I can actually enjoy that for four days. I just, I just think it's profound, but I keep all of that very simple. So anyhow, like I said, I'm certainly not an expert by any means. I'm new on this journey, but I would, I just wanted to put in an explain, uh, explain right now why intermittent fasting was the best choice for me right now. If there comes another point that I feel like I need to go into weighing, measuring, pre-doing foods kind of thing, maybe on the last 50 pounds I have to lose, maybe that will have to be a part of my journey. But right now, it doesn't seem to have to be a part of it. I just disciplined myself for 18 hours, and then six hours, I just am smart and cautious. And I've learned to listen to my body. If I'm not hungry, I just wait for my hours. So sometimes I'm maybe 20 or 21 hours, actually, into my fasting before I open the window because I just wasn't hungry then. So, anywho, love you guys. I'm enjoying life and it isn't all centered around sugar anymore. Thank Jesus for that one. Yeah.